you fun seekers. We're coming to you from Newport, Tennessee. We're standing right in front of Hillbilly Smoky Mountain Diner. It's Sunday. They have an all-you-can-eat-rib all you can eat rib special today, so I decided I wanted to come here and try it. Also, they're supposed to have a delicious-looking fruit bar, so I want to try both of those items. So y'all come along and join us today as we go inside of Hillbilly Smoky Mountain Restaurant. Let's go check this place out. Let's do it. This is what Hillbilly Smoky Mountain Diner looks like. It has authentic Texas barbecue. Today is Sunday, and you'll notice on the window all you can eat baby back ribs. It's open Thursday through Sunday from 11 to 7. And this is what the front counter area looks like when you walk in. This is where you place your order at. And here's a look at the menu, everything they have to offer. And this is what the restaurant looks like when you walk in. I'm going to pan around and show it to you. There's the buffet bar right in the center. And the salad bar is located right over here on the right hand side. Well, let's take a look at the complimentary fruit bar that they have. We have fresh watermelon, with pineapple, kiwi, some lemon, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, we have oranges, grapes, red delicious apples, and some fresh strawberries. And all this fruit sure does look fresh. I can make a meal just off of the fruit. Well, let's take you down the salad bar line and show you what all they have. Starting with the lettuces, your fresh spinach, carrots, romaine hearts. We have some white onions, tomatoes, green peppers, red onions, pickles. And on this side, we have your cherry tomatoes, cheese, eggs, broccoli, your olives, mushrooms, bacon, ham. Some different peppers, we have some jalapenos, some green onions sliced up, cucumbers, oyster crackers, here's all the dressings they have. And up on top you'll find a few more items, croutons, some sunflower seeds, and any kind of condiments you may need to have them up here as well. Well let's take you down the line and show you what all is on the buffet. Today's feature is, are the ribs, they sure do look good and smell good. We have some baked beans. We have some green beans, we have corn and carrots, we have yams, some black eyed peas, some greens on the other side. This is a brisket stew, we have some potatoes, some gravy, looks like maybe a cherry cobbler, peach cobbler. This is a tater tot casserole and this is like a brisket mac and cheese. We have your biscuits and also some cornbread muffins. They have both Coke and Pepsi products. And they have sweet tea, unsweet tea, peach tea, and raspberry tea. Let's take a look at Carly's plate. She decided to get the chicken. This is a one meat. She can go back and get more chicken if she likes. It's like a one meat buffet. But she gets to take advantage of the buffet bar and the salad bar and the fruit bar as well. This is what she's gotten so far. All right, I got the chicken. I haven't tried this yet. With the buffet, you can get whatever meat you want. I'm getting to this chicken. It's a huge piece. It looks like it's moist. Let's see. And it smells good what I can smell. It's got a very good flavor. You can taste that smokiness of it. So you like it? I do. And also, I see you fixed yourself up a tall salad. Mm -hmm. The salad looks so fresh mm -hmm. up there. Yeah, all the items up there, as far as the salad bar and the fruit bar, both look really fresh. Well, let's take a look at my first plate. I've got me a couple of the ribs. I've got some of this brisket stew, got me a cornbread muffin, a sweet potato, some of the brisket mac and cheese, 
some baked beans, and also some of this tater tot casserole he was talking about, where you take tater tots, green beans, and cheese. And also, I got me a fresh plate of fruit. Got some strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, some watermelon, and some kiwi fruit. And that stuff sure does look good. Hey, David, you gonna start with your fruit? Yeah, I've started with my fruit. I cut off my watermelon from the rind. And I'm gonna try it, let you know what I think. Watermelon is good for this time of year. Not bad at all. It's hard to find good water. I haven't got haven't got any watermelon yet. Mm. But it's hard to find good water. I think you're gonna like that. Well, you know, that watermelon is what attracted you to this place to begin with when you saw that fruit when bar. When I saw that fruit bar, that picture. I said I definitely want to come here. I love fresh fruit. And all of that stuff up there looks just as fresh. It does. And I can't get over it. The strawberries and kiwi. It's just a whole lot of amount of fruit up there. And the uh, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, all, I mean, all types of fruit. You can make a meal just off the fruit bar. David's trying the ribs. Got right much meat on them. They do look like they have a lot of meat on them. It's pretty good. They like got a lot of seasoning on them, too. It does have a lot of seasoning on them. But let me pull off a chunk of meat and show you. you see the meat? All right, David has got some brisket stew here. David, why don't you try that and see what you think? You can see it's got the carrots, got the brisket in it, some celery, potatoes. Well, let's try it and see how it tastes. Kind of reminds me of pot roast. You know how you cook pot roast with, uh, with onions and celery? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it tastes like. But it's very good. It has some brisket taste in it. I think it tastes good, I think. I've tried these baked beans. These baked beans are delicious. They've got some onions in them. And, I mean, it's got a delicious flavor. I love baked beans, and these are some of the best ones I've had. Oh, really? And that's impressive coming off of a buffet. They're very delicious. All right, John, the owner here, he bought some more ribs to the table. And just look at these. This is definitely fall off the bone ribs. They definitely are. Makes it easy to eat that way. All right, John, the owner, bought three different kind of sauces for me to try. This right here is the original. How you like that original, Cindy? I like that. That's a mustard base. But it's very good, very tasty. I think it has a teeny bit of a kick to it, and that's not even the spicy one, so I can't wait to get to the spicy one. And then the one in the center right here, this is gonna be called a honey pecan. And this is the one I wanted to see how this tastes. Okay. What do you think of the honey pecan? Good. I'm getting another little bit of a taste of it. Well, I really like that one. That's going to be, if you like a sweet or barbecue sauce, that should definitely be your choice. Both of these have been good so far. All right. And then last but not least. The spicy. Your favorite. Let's try this. Can you tell much of a difference between the spicy and the original? Not yet. Not yet. I'll give it a second, probably. Yeah, sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to kick in. It's good. I can definitely tell it's a little bit spicier. Between those three, which one would you say would be your favorite? The spicy. The spicy. But all three of them are good. And here is a view of all three of the sauces. The original, the honey pecan, and the spicy. And these are available to purchase here at the restaurant. All right, I got some fruit here, and I love their fruit bar. They have a nice variety of fruit that you don't always see in restaurants. So I know I've already had some of the fruit in my salad, so now I'm eating the fruit for my dessert. What do you think of that watermelon thing? Hey, you're right. This watermelon is really good. I wasn't expecting it to be so good this time of year. And yeah, when I tasted it, and being in March, it's hard to find good watermelon, but that is decent. It is. It's really good for this time of year. Here is a look at our ticket for today. We had three of the one meat choice daily buffet specials, two fountain drinks, 
tax for a total of sixty-seven twenty. Right, John is in the process of making a sample of platter. Just look at all that delicious food. This customer got an extra half a chicken. Got chicken. We got brisket. Is that some turkey, maybe? You got turkey. You got sausage, pulled pork, brisket, ribs, and chicken. Okay. And he also comes with four of our homemade buns. On to go orders, we don't slice them, we leave them. Alone. Right. Now, how much does something like that sell for? After taxes, right at 50 bucks. Well, you can't beat that. Well, Cindy, what did you think about your experience today here at Hillbilly Smoky Mountain Diner? David, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to tell you my favorite things. The chicken was delicious. When you come in, if you choose to get the buffet, it's $16.99 and you choose what meat you want. Of course, I chose chicken. And you can get as much as you want. They'll give you a piece at the beginning. Uh, they will give you a half of a chicken, but I only eat the breast, so I said, just give me a breast. So I started with the breast, and then I went and I made me a delicious salad. Everything was fresh on the salad bar, so I really enjoyed that. But I do think the, th the star of this place is the fruit bar. I have never seen such a fresh fruit bar before in a restaurant with the type of variety they had here. So I really enjoyed the fruit bar, and also I put some of the fruit in my salad. So it was a really good experience for me, David. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now, I got the ribs, which was a Sunday special on the buffet. The ribs, and they, the second batch he brought out showed us, we showed you on video, they would just fall off the bone. The meat tasted good. Had a little bit too much like pepper on it for me because, you know, how I can't eat a lot of spicy stuff. Right. But overall, the ribs were good. Just a little too much pepper for my taste. But they were good. The... um. Buffet Adams, I really liked that baked beans. I thought they were delicious. They had a good taste. Had some onions mixed in with it. The cornbread was good. And you had already mentioned the fruit bar, but I have to say something about that as well. I love fresh fruit and the watermelon. Being in March, I thought the watermelon tasted real good for this time of year. The strawberries were good. I enjoyed the kiwi fruit. Just, you know, I can make a meal just off the fruit bar. And the salad bar, that was all fresh looking. And I didn't get, didn't fix myself a salad, but that's unusual for you. The David. items on the salad bar looked very fresh. They were. And the sweet tea here, I enjoyed the sweet tea. I thought that tasted very good. I drank about two glasses of tea, and overall, I enjoyed everything. John, the owner, he come by, checked on us several times. He brought some barbecue sauces to the table for you to try, Cindy, and. Um, he come by and checked on us, talked to us for a little bit. Just a super nice guy. So nice. And, you know, if you're in the Newport area, I uh, recommend stopping by, trying out the restaurant here. I think you would like it. Carly, what did you think about your, your chicken and your food today? Everything I had was really good. Um, No complaints at all. Everything was delicious. And, and you got a little uh, special treatment, didn't you? Yes, I did. So before we got our food, one of the ladies that work here came by and asked if I wanted some hot chocolate. Of course, I said yes. And after she fixed the hot chocolate for me, she also brought by a little Oreo cookie for me. No, not Oreo, M&M. M&M cookie. Yes. So they were looking after you, won't they? Yes, they were. Anything else you would like to add? No, um, just that I do think it's a very reasonable price. Sixteen ninety nine, I think, is definitely a good deal for what you can get, especially if you're a big eater. Come here. You will not leave hungry. That's right. Well, and I would like to say I did try your chicken, Carla. Now, I thought the chicken tasted uh, good. Mm -hmm. You could taste that nice hickory flavor in it where it was oh. smoked. Just mm -hmm. to have a delicious taste to it. Yes, it and, did. And um, I very much enjoyed that chicken also. And David. He, uh, John showed me some hamburgers. Oh, the smell of those burgers was amazing, too. I didn't get a burger. I got the chicken. But I've got a feeling if you want a good burger, they probably got a good burger here, too. And I thought, you know, you had mentioned it already, but the prices were very reasonable. <laughs> and uh, I definitely would recommend stopping by giving Hillbilly Smoky Mountain Dino a try. And this is Texas Barbecue. John used to have a restaurant in Texas, and now he's here in Tennessee. 
So come over here if you want to try some good Texas barbecue. So if you're in Newport or close to Newport, if you're in the Pigeon Forge areas, it's worth the drive to come over. Yes, it is. Well, Carla, tell the folks what to do now. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our latest Christmas video. See you next time. Thanks for watching. God bless. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.